You know, I think that story was designed to make us feel better that we're not in this alone. Exactly. We're that all was the in point. it together. Yeah. Heat, humidity, and hair, Pamela. <laughs> hair. For a week, right? Yeah, so I got the little bit of the, the beach hair going on here because, yeah, I went swimming yesterday. The water temp finally heating up, and that's where you can find the relief from all this hot air. Temperatures in the 90s, we did have some spots in the triple digits. And with the heat index factored in, real fuel temps running to 105 up to 120 degrees. Again, that's with the humidity factored in. And this dome of heat continues to to build and build over the next several days. We keep the hot air around through at least the 4th of July. End of the week, it actually gets a little bit hotter. Then by next weekend, we might see the end of the humidity briefly and some cooler temperatures, maybe some highs in the 70s without the humidity. That sounds nice. But today, we still have some high heat going on overnight tonight. And for tomorrow, another heat advisory away from the coastline. Heat index feel 100 to 108, hot and humid as we start the work week. An air quality alert is going to remain in place through 11 o'clock tonight. And the same deal 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Increased ground level ozone, so unhealthy levels of that air out there. Sunday high temperatures. According to our WBZ weather watchers, the century mark in some spots. Eric and Hopkinton, Stephen West Brookfield, and Kevin and Winchenden all at 100 degrees. Billy there in Whitman has 99, 98 for the high, according to Bob and Millis. And our high temperatures in Boston, well, 92. We actually reached 92 degrees early this afternoon and then cooled back into the 80s thanks to that sea breeze, which got as far as Attleboro. So earlier this evening, I saw a tweet from someone saying that there were a few clouds there. Those were sea breeze clouds. And Taunton, 98 degrees for the high Nantucket, a high of 86. We had 102 for the actual high temp in Keene. Now we've cooled off a bit. Still rather muggy, though, so it feels much warmer than it actually is. 77 in Boston, 93 in Orange, Worcester, 85, and even Providence holding with 83 degrees. That wind still from the east at 6 miles an hour. The immediate coastline, that's where you have relief. Temperature 77 at Logan Airport specifically with our dew point of 66. It stays muggy overnight tonight with some areas of patchy fog and low temperatures right around 70 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, big question is when will the sea breeze kick in and cool us and keep us in the low 80s? And perhaps if it occurs early in the day, we may have a high of 83 degrees in Boston, Rockport 81. But if it triggers a little bit earlier, well, um, or a little bit later, I should say, we could have the potential to get close to 90 degrees in Boston. So keep that in mind tomorrow. Low to mid 90s farther inland, and the dome of heat continues to build Tuesday and Wednesday. The jet stream retreats farther to the north, and it is hot for almost the entire United States. We're not the only ones in this, definitely. The humidity sticks around, and with a little bit of some lift, a little trigger here moving in, a short wave, Monday into Tuesday. This is what could help to give us an isolated pop-up thunderstorm threat for Tuesday afternoon and evening. Wouldn't count on it or anything. It's a very slim chance, but we have another chance of a pop-up storm in the heat of the day for the 4th of July. Temperature 94 degrees, still hot and humid, and wow, if you have the week off, if you're on Cape Cod, that is where you got to be. Temperatures inland in the 90s, no relief in sight until until we get into Friday. 86, chance for scattered showers and storms. Some of those storms could be strong, maybe severe Friday night, something we'll be watching. We clean the atmosphere out Saturday, 76, less humid, and Sunday, 81. That would be a great weekend next weekend. And I think it's just not hysterical. It's fairly funny that yeah. 86, and it's like, oh, it's really, if it's <laughs> 86. Cool By the way, what exactly is beach hair? Beach hair. Well, <laughs> I have very, very, very curly, curly hair. Oh, Being yeah. in the salt water. Yeah, it goes crazy, it, it has, right? I just can't straighten yeah, it. Yeah, I got you. But it has, it has some curl to it. It has little some lift. I tried to straighten it. <laughs> lift. That's yes. what we'll call it. See, lift, a little bit of curls. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, it was about the beach. Yes. That's Pamela. Got it. Okay. Okay. It's July. Happy summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go like that. Yes. Thanks. Well,